In the world of tennis, there aren't many better with a racket in their hands than Mark Maslowski. You may not have heard of him, but he's one of the world's best tennis racket okay. stringers and every player's best friend. My name is Mark Maslowski. I'm president of the European Racket Stringers Association. We have a group of shops and stringers all over the world. Plus, I do workshops all over the world teaching tennis shops to string correctly. As president of the European Racket Stringers Association, he strung rackets for everyone from Roger Federer to Rafael Nadal. I am still stringing at Wimbledon every year for 16 years now. I just did the Olympics in summer, and we strung for all of the players there. I strung for Andy Murray, and he won the gold medal. During a tournament, he has his work cut out, dealing with the constant request for his expertise. The workload intense and the pressure to not make mistakes heightened by the demands of the top tennis stars, it takes a special type of person to become a successful racket stringer. I'm working seven days a week, from seven in the morning to 11 at night. Kind of crazy, I guess, to work so much. You have to be fairly good with your hands, so you can string quickly so you get the same quality all the time. So we check all of the rackets uh, with electronic device to see that they're all strung exactly the same. Look, the strings are straight, stencils are on correctly. So you have to be kind of particular type person to do that. Like Roger Federer gets 60, 70 rackets done every year now. He strings uh, at a Grand Slam for matches, 10 rackets every match day and five rackets every practice day. So you see someone like him is using maybe 70 to 100 rackets in a Grand Slam. If you want more spin, you know, there's different ways to do it with an opener string pattern or thinner strings. String tensions vary a lot. Andy strings a little tighter, and uh, Roger strings uh, natural gut on the mains and polyester on the crosses, and Andy opposite. The ball will go a very small percent faster with a looser string, up to a certain point, but it makes the ball go higher over the net and it goes longer. So if your balls are going too short all the time, you can lower your tension and the ball will go higher and longer. If your balls are flying out, you go up in the tension and the balls will go flatter over the net and shorter. Finished.